Welcome to another teardown video. This time it's another Impo product. This one hasn't really got a name or a number or anything, so I don't know exactly what to call it. I think I'll just call it a multi lab school test equipment. <laughs> I'm sorry if you know what this is called please tell us so there's a so south tooth or impulse generator you can select the frequency and the level here and the level so and there's a connector for stroboscope and this is the mains this one I find a little bit interesting a modulator so you can mix two different frequencies or something like that. I guess this is the level, right? And those are the inputs. So maybe you can connect those two inputs from the two different generators, because this is a sine wave and a square wave generator with two outputs. I guess they will be on at the same time with two different levels. And of course, this is the frequency. Maybe there's also an output here. So that will fit directly into some sort of equipment. And here, an audio amplifier with, what is that, different input, output. So you can maybe have inputs or outputs here. Or, hmm, and a level. So this is just an amplifier and 20 watts, really? And look at that. So this is near the amplifier, two large transistors, and those are the 3055s. A lot of screws, and it's really, really heavy. So I guess this is full of PCBs and stuff. On the back side, there's nothing except this Impo Electronic voltage is 220 fantastic is this just a serial number or is this i would expect this just to be serial number so this is not the type number so it is powered up and it actually works it consumes about 18 watts i tried to um check a little bit here on the different outputs and this is a sawtooth a very very narrow pulse like one microsecond well <laughs> I don't know if, if you would call this narrow pulse but it is uh, in relation to the frequencies uh, the pulse is really really narrow and the width of the pulse uh, varies a little bit with the frequencies so it's not too small or too wide and yes, the two dials here, they do uh, set up the amplitude of the two outputs. I try, I'm trying right now to play with the modulator. So I'm taking a sawtooth to modulate a sine wave. And look at that. See? It actually works. So this is the sine wave and this pot meter here could use a little bit of service this is the level of the sine wave so all that works uh, sine wave and square wave and this amplifier if I connect the sine wave for example to the input and then measure the output here this one can give about uh, 30 volts peak peak in the low frequency, the low audio frequency range. So that also works. Uh, it does run a little bit warm here uh, around the two uh, 3055s. I guess those will be uh, related to this uh, output amplifier. I'm also a little bit worried about the DC voltage here because this one is actually should have been black because all black connectors they're connected together 
and those are also are always uh, zero volts and it's also chassis and the same is uh, applied to that one so that one should have been black so this is really confusing and I have half uh, DC output here so that is also a little bit worrying you should be able to put a an amplifier here or, um, I mean a speaker right so that can't be right so I think we should try and open this thing see what is inside now we are inside look at that it is amazing <laughs> How somebody spent all that time making all those wires like that. Don't you just like it? And just like the previous Impo product, they don't really use a lot of different color codes. All those are just black? Hmm. Why? But down here, maybe somebody else made that PCB because here we got some different colors. So that's a little bit funny. So this is the audio amplifier. It is a uh, Cascade uh, dual NPN topology. And uh, here is the biasing transistor here. So when this one gets hot, it will regulate for the biasing. And he, of course, since it's a dual Cascade with a single supply, you need an output capacitor for the for the output. Now we've got some drivers and the audio control board or driver board. Let me see if I can get all the way in here. So we can get a real good close-up of this audio amplifier board and also note the two outputs from the two NPN transistors it goes over here and then the red wire here that will be the global feedback so this is a single layer photo board with some text so it says amplifier and 20 watts. The sine wave, square wave oscillator is of course a Wien ball. Yes! This is how do you generate a real good sine wave. And look at the bulb for amplitude compensation. And I think the square wave output is done by this IC. Can we get a picture of that one? Ooh, no, we cannot. Impossible, the impossible photo challenge. Here we go. And. the range switch where they only used half of the switch why didn't they just parallel all the other switches that will give you a better quality and of course this is the oscillation frequency pot meter just a standard crabby crabby pot meter and this is actually defect this one this one definitely needs to be replaced And uh, so this is the, the modulator, and that is this board. So there's a little bit of a semiconductor of some sort in there with like 8, 10 pins. I can't really see what that is doing. Main switch, and again, they disconnect both of them. So plus plus for that, but a big minus because there is no fuse. That is not so good. Come on, a little fuse mounted here and and I would be happy. Okay, so just do it for me, please. 
And what have we got here? This is the frequency adjustments for the suit south south and this tiny little pulse. And this oscillator is not as accurate as the really cool wind bro wind bridge thingy. So look at that. This is all so we need. And somebody wrote with a big permanent marker on the PCB what it was for. And also this is the power supply. I only see some Sena diodes and a 3055 and I guess that is actually it. Oh, it's impossible to get light. Come on. See? So this is the text of the PCBs. Really nice photo PCB quality. Especially when you think about the age of this product. I found this sticker. And this is exactly the same kind of sticker I found in the other Impo product. So this is from 1973. And the case is just a band of aluminium plate and the front is a band of aluminium plate screwed together like that for adjustments. Really uh, audio input shielding. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this thing. Hopefully I can trade it for something else that is equally fun. Next week, stay tuned for more.